What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Jeff. First up, and as always, guys, it is damn good to see y'all, man. I hope you guys are out there having a blessed, damn good day for real, man. It's hard not to be good when we got Tansky releasing some new shit. Are y'all kidding me? Hell fucking yeah, man. I did not know that this guy was going to release some new stuff this soon. I was kind of figuring, like, Maybe it'll be a few months before we see something new. Maybe it'll be a year. I don't know, but I didn't think it was going to be like a day. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. So, this is on JDZ Media. It's called Unclassified. And I read the description. It says the idea behind the series is for the artist to bring their own sound instead of being put into a box of a genre. Which I'm kind of interested about because I, I didn't know. Did they pick the beats for the artist and then the artist has to rip them? I always thought the artist picked a beat. Maybe not. I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out what that is with this reaction, man. So, without any further ado, why don't we check out this Tansky Unclassified. This dude is hard. We know this is going to be freaking good. So, let's go, yo. <laughs> Yeah, JDZ Media, Tansky, Unclassified, yeah, you know what time it is, watch out for the mixtape dropping very soon, trust me. Hell fucking yeah, by the way, I like the setup, look at the room, that's fucking cool, man. Hell yeah. Mad thing. Look, let me start from the beginning. Everything Ooh. was sweet back when I was young and I was playing Kirby on the street. When I started growing up, my story started getting deep. I'm gonna walk you through it, sit it back and take a seat. See, it wasn't bad. Oh, this is fucking cool, man. He kept, First of all, he came on that beat smooth as a motherfucker. That was awesome. I gotta hear that again. Back from the beginning, everything was sweet. Back when I was young and I was playing Kirby on the street. When I started growing up, my story started getting deep. I'm gonna walk you through it. Sit, sit back and take a seat. See, I was about 11 when it started getting peak. I said, people go to heaven. I was struggling to sleep. Carrying Ooh. the weapon, I was getting into beef. I didn't reckon I was ever gonna see defeat. But I was young and dumb. My daddy always used to leave. Then one day he disappeared and honestly, I was relieved. Cause he used to... Hey, that's some facts. <laughs> I told y'all before that when I was a kid, when my dad finally decided to split, man, that was like Christmas in my house. That was fucking, see ya, get the fuck out of here, you mutt. <laughs> Weapon, I was getting into beef. I didn't reckon I was ever gonna see defeat. But I was young and dumb, my daddy always used to leave. Then one day he disappeared, and honestly, I was relieved. Cause he used to hit my mom until he'd make a bleed. Take a money in and hit the pub and go back overseas. I turned Woo! 30. Jesus Christ, we both got the same dad, apparently. Oh my god. Whoo! God damn. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, my dad was in the military, man. He was a fucking. Uh, what would you call that? Cold case military guy, went overseas, did some action, fucking drank a lot, like, just typical, you know, army dude, ugh. <laughs> My daddy always used to leave Then one day he disappeared And honestly I was relieved Cause he used to hit my mom Until he'd make a bleed Take a money in And hit the pub And go back overseas I turned 13 And I started burning weed Blazing hard Skinning up an L sheet Started writing bars I was spitting on beat They were saying I was hard They were saying I was deep That's when I started Ooh. practicing And turning up the heat I was hardly in This is fucking awesome man I love this shit And I was hard They were saying I was deep That's when I started practicing And turning up the heat I was hardly in school I was chilling on the street. I was acting like a fool, then I turned into a thief. Must have thought I was cool, must have thought I was a G. I remember getting gas when I was watching Bruce Lee. The younger generation probably oh, wonder yeah. who's he. I Bruce Lee is the shit. Oh my god. Hey. I remember getting gas when I was watching Bruce Lee. The younger generation probably wonder who's he. I swear it was the best and I had every movie. I remember watching Ali G fucking Julie back when he was in the house. No. <laughs> Oh, Ali G was fucking hilarious, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish that dude... <clears throat> I wish Jason Bourne and Coleman would still do... Does he still do him? I don't think he does, but that'd be fucking awesome if he did. 
Watching Bruce Lee The younger generation probably wonder who's he I swear it was the best and I had every movie I remember watching Ali G fucking Julie Back when he was in the house Now I'm 18 doing burglaries I used to sneak around like a mouse I'd take everything and bounce Only used to think about myself Because I didn't care about nobody else Then they sent me to the pen When I came home I remember saying I was never going back again I must have been the one that they wanted to apprehend Because I ended up inside three times in the end I turned 23 That's when the Oh, when I got out, I said I was never going back again, but I must have been the one that wanted to apprehend, because I... How did he end that? Oh my god. When I came home, I remember saying I was never going back again. I must have been the one that they wanted to apprehend. Cause I ended up inside three times in the end. I turned 23. That's when I decided to myself that wasn't the person I wanted to be. Cause jail ain't no good. I still wouldn't go back to Oakwood. Even though they gave me a key to my cell. I used to watch Keenan and Kel back when I was young. I never had a reason to dwell on the past. Time went by way. I am never gonna go back, even though they gave me a key to my cell. God damn. Still wouldn't go back to Oakwood, even though they gave me a key to my cell. I used to watch Keenan and Kel back when I was young. I never had a reason to dwell on the past. Time went by way too fast. I never would have thought it was freezing in hell, but it was. I've already oh, been there and back. I've looked the devil in the eye when he's staring back. Back then, you'd only ever see me wearing black. These days, I'm just trying to get my bearings back. I'm trying to get back on my feet. Every day was on repeat when I lost my son. Cause I was even struggling to eat If I'm being honest, all that I wanted to do was sleep I didn't leave the house for about a fucking week I was a mess I ain't gonna lie, I was depressed But come on, be real What the fuck do you expect? Hello? Exactly, I was just about to pause it and be like We don't fucking blame you, man What do you expect? That is the most worst pain anybody can ever go through. If I'm being honest, all that I wanted to do was sleep. I didn't leave the house for about a fucking week. I was a mess. I ain't gonna lie, I was depressed. But come on, be real. What the fuck do you expect? I lost my firstborn. I was emotionally torn into pieces. Like a sunken ship, I was a wreck. I won't lie for a bit. I started thinking about my death. I started planning it all out because I wanted to be next. Even waking up in the morning would get me vexed. Because I wouldn't hear my baby crying. And I got a text from a friend telling me that this should never be the end. I need to find a way to deal with it and get back on the mend Then I started channeling my pain into my pen Now I started handling my business again Oh fuck, oh, oh Then I started channeling my pain into my Whoo God damn, holy fuck dude How can you not There's no way you can hate this dude He's, He puts his all into this shit man Hell yeah What's going on? Oh, I hit the volume again. Jesus. I was emotionally torn into pieces. Like a sunken ship, I was a wreck. I won't lie for a bit. I started thinking about my death. I started planning it all out because I wanted to be next. Even waking up in the morning would get me vexed. Because I wouldn't hear my baby crying. And I got a text from a friend telling me that this should never be the end. I need to find a way to deal with it and get back on the mend. Then I started channeling my pain into my pen. Now I started handling my business again. I'm still spitting fire. I'm still giving this to them. I ain't looking to retire. Fuck the hate. I ain't quitting cause of them In yeah, fact I'm still getting sicker cause of them But bigger my supporters I get bigger cause of them They know I only spit real life Let me tell them what I feel like Deep down inside I don't feel right I don't see no reason to lie and make out I feel nice Used to think I was gonna die and I still might I don't know if I can't survive but I still try I'm Ah, hell yeah. To me, that's like a play on Mike's buzz. Hell yeah. I feel like deep down inside, I don't feel right. I don't see no reason to lie. I make out, I feel nice. Used to think I was gonna die, and I still might. I don't know if I can't survive, but I still try. I'm still in the studio, me and Colty are still tight. I'm feeling kind of like hops, and I've got an ill mind. I'm not only doing Ooh, this music to get yeah. a deal signed. That was sick. Hell fucking yeah. I, I don't know if I can't survive, but I still try. I'm still in the studio, me and Colty are still tight. I'm feeling kind of like hops, and I've got an ill mind. I'm not only doing this music to get a deal signed, but when they listen to music, like hops, and I got an ill mind. Part of me says he says he feels like Canada, but that's not what he said. But I feel like hops, and I got an ill mind. Hell. Hops and I've got an ill mind I'm not only doing this music to get a deal sign But when they listen to music, I bet they feel mine Cause I write down on all my pain and then I kill mine Woo. I've grown up a lot but I am still hype Nobody can tell me nothing, I'll do what I feel like uh, yeah, I was baby. going out of control Cause I lost my son not long ago The worst thing was, it was all out of my control For the chance to see him grow, I would've given my soul no gas oh, Mad thing, rest in peace to my son every day Rest in peace to my stepdad. Mad thing, pain. Ah, I fucking love it.
about this food, man. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Shout out to freaking Tansky, man. That was oh, okay. This one by far is definitely my favorite. I know I haven't seen all of them, but this one, man, is definitely my favorite out of everything I've seen of this dude. Just ah, the beat that he picked, the bars that he talked about, man. He literally told us his not his whole life, but some of it, most of it, man. He literally told his whole story about how he grew up. And then he fucking went in to talk about the pain that he still feels now. But, like, you know, the loss of losing his son, that's always going to be freaking with him, man. Ah, Jesus. That's always freaking tough, man. Like, oh, my God. Shout out to Tansky for being able to find the outlet, grabbing the pen, making the pain go through it like he said. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was sick. I feel, oh, my God. That's freaking awesome, man. So shout out to Tansky as always, man. I fucking like this dude. He's becoming like, I don't, I don't know. I just like him, man, because he's just like he's got that hard on him, like hard edge and shit like that. But he's also got like a sensitive side, man, and he ain't afraid to show that, which is fucking awesome. He clearly has no qualms about. It. He even said he's like, I'm not gonna fucking lie to you guys, which is awesome, like, he's keeping it 100 with his fans, which, uh, in a day of hip-hop, man, that is freaking appreciated so much, because usually everybody is all about the fakeness and the this and the that, and spitting about shit that they don't do or did, didn't do or anything, you know what I mean, like, I find a lot of rappers these days, so, uh, I find, man, I'm not gonna lie, like, I find some of them even use, like, the, I question, like, They'll rap about mental illness, but they won't rap about, like, what their problems are with it. They'll just use the subject to almost gain a fan base. Which, that ain't right, man. You ain't, you ain't helping anybody by doing that. You're just helping yourself, which, well, that ain't right. But, we ain't here to ramble about that. I mean, we could, but that's not what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just gonna give Tansky all the respect. He's freaking awesome, man. He killed this unclassified. Shout out to JGZ Media for the new freaking... New segment, I guess you could say, on this <laughs> TV show shit. I fucking love it, like I've said. I always praise these guys, man. So, thank you to you guys, as always, too, man. Y'all, mm, like I said in the last video, tracks don't even drop yet, and already you guys know about them. You got the inside scoop, so <laughs> thank you, as always, man. I hope you guys have a fucking awesome day, for real. And I will catch you bad motherfuckers in the next one, alright? I fucking love you guys. Peace out, baby.